Hello everyone, welcome to complete Laravel e-commerce project tutorial series. Today we will show you how you can make this search working perfectly using Liveware. Okay. Now, if you watch our previous videos, every video, then you might already know that we already created a Liveware component for this search, right? So we already have the product search component .php file inside our liveware folder and also we have this liveware dot product search component blade file okay inside our resource view liveware folder okay so we will work on these two file today very fast let's go to product search component and start writing the logic here it's very simple logic okay first of all we will need to declare here public string okay what we will create here a variable called query which will actually receive a string query when we going to make a search by typing here okay next what next simply we will create here a array public result it's a variable and it will simply store array of our search result okay next we need to create here a function public function search okay and this will help us to do the search okay so we will do the search in which database table obviously in product database table so in order to search in product database table we need to use our product model and our search going to be very simple product where then our query where product name okay you know guys every of our product as a name so product name going to be operator like then the value going to be part sentence okay then we going to connect here this query okay simple so this is the query which will help us to find out the product okay and we will just take out 10 result for now so limit 10 and then simply get it every of the libraries or sorry laravel search query is just like this so yeah if you did it already in any of your project it's going to be very easy to understand for you so product where product name like our query okay that's it now we simply doing the query here in our products table in database but after we do this query it will return something right Return some results so that result we will store inside of our this result right so this result is equal to our query so when you're going to do the search using this search from what it will do whatever we write here it will go directly in our product table and look for if there any match with the product's name and if there any match then it will return 10 result maximum 10 result and yeah that result we will get inside of our this result that means in this simple array okay so that's all we have to do here very simple logic next we need to go to this liveware product search component blade file 
and after we go there we need to do the detail thing here we have a from here you can see we're going to type here or then what or submit prevent okay we are submit dot prevent search simple now input type text name query name is not that mandatory here we need to type here input type text then or model okay then we're going to use here debounce dot 500 ms okay then the query perfect input type text is okay then wire model rebounds 500 ms query placeholder we have the placeholder search product and record perfect now we need to display the result so after the from we will display here result if we have the result okay if result count result is greater than zero that means if our result count is greater than zero that means we have some result if it is equal to zero then we don't have any result then nothing need to show but when we have the result count is greater than zero sorry it should be results okay then we will display here some result perfect so we're going to simply display here search result I'm going to use here deep plus search results and empty four then inside of this if we don't need to do here if actually simply let's do here something like for else or for each whatever for each for each results results as result or results as product whatever you want to do you can do here we can to simply display here the item name okay or product name okay simply we're going to display here the product name so product then we have the product name right perfect and you already know guys that we have a route to display single product i am going to show you that right now i think we have a route for that displaying the single product right let's see okay we don't have the route yet we will create that later okay go back to that one again for now let's just display the product name okay all right so everything is okay now let's remove this action method we don't need them actually okay then let's do the search and see whether it's work or not type here yellow as we only have one product okay it is not working let's see what's the issue here okay you can see we created several html element here we need to wrap everything inside one div as it is a library component every library component need to be written only one single html element that should be the case here let's do the search again and you can see we type here yellow even if we type here you will see the result come here which is yellow show perfect now if i type here red 
there's nothing great and you can see it's not display anything neither no product found all right so let me show you how it actually work if i just open inspect then go to network tab and type here again yellow hit enter you just need to focus here okay i'm going to hit enter and you can see it directly sending a request to our database okay and that request actually returning us the result here show okay so yeah that's it for the search for now okay tomorrow we will working on single product display okay thank you so much for watching take care bye bye